This is the war in Ukraine, the official Russian version of it. Packaged, promoted, propagandized by Moscow. Fearless Russian soldiers fighting the good fight, defending the motherland. But Konstantin Yefremov was there, and the reality, he says, is very different. Konstantin was a senior lieutenant in the Russian army, but he's fled Russia, and he's agreed to tell me about crimes he says he saw Russian soldiers committing in Ukraine. Starting here, this is one of Konstantin's first photos from Ukraine, an airbase seized by Russian troops in Militopol. I saw looting there. Soldiers and officers grabbed everything they could. They climbed all over the plains and went through all the buildings. One soldier took away a lawnmower. He said proudly, I'll take this home and cut the grass next to our barracks. Buckets, axes, bicycles, they bunged it all in trucks. Konstantin says that on the day Russia invaded Ukraine, he tried to quit the army. He was warned he'd face up to 10 years in prison for desertion. In occupied Ukraine, he was sent to guard this artillery unit and then a facility where he says he witnessed Ukrainian prisoners of war being tortured. The Ukrainian had a blindfold on. The colonel put a pistol to the prisoner's forehead and said, I'm going to count to three and then shoot you in the head. He counted and then fired just to the side of his head, on both sides. The colonel started shouting at him. I said, comrade colonel, he can't hear you. You've deafened him. The interrogations, this torture, continued for about a week, every day, at night, sometimes twice a day. The interrogations became increasingly violent, claims Konstantin. During another interrogation, the colonel shot the prisoner in the arm and in the right leg, under the knee, and hit the bone. I went to the commanders and said the Ukrainian needs to go to hospital. He'll be dead by morning from blood loss. We dressed him up in a Russian uniform and took him to hospital. We told him, don't say you're a Ukrainian prisoner of war because either the doctors will refuse to treat you or the injured Russian soldiers will hear you and shoot you. The BBC has verified documents, photographs and videos provided by Konstantin confirming his identity and his movements. Once he'd returned to Russia, back on base, he was accused of a serious breach of discipline for refusing to go back to Ukraine. He was dismissed from the army. A Russian human rights group, Gulagonet, has helped him leave the country. I apologize to the whole Ukrainian nation for coming to their home as an uninvited guest with a weapon in my hands. I don't even have a moral right to ask for forgiveness from the Ukrainians. I can't forgive myself, so I can't expect them to forgive me. Konstantin says that senior officers called him a traitor for being anti-war. But he points out that he gave an oath to protect his country, not to attack another. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.